Good day, sir. Today we will be discussing another topic which is about the, the psychoactive drugs. What are these psychoactive drugs? Psychoactive, also called psychotropic, is a term that is applied to chemical substance that change a person's mental state by affecting the, the way the brain and nervous system work. This can lead to intoxication which is often the main reason people choose to take psychoactive drugs. Psychoactive drugs are substances that when taken in or administered in one system affect mental processes, example perception, consciousness, cognition or mood, and emotions. Psychoactive drugs belong to a broader category of psychoactive substance, substances that include also alcohol and nicotine. Production, distribution, sale, or non-medical use of uh, many psychoactive drugs is either controlled or prohibited outside legally sanctioned channels by law. Psychoactive drugs have different degrees of restriction of availability depending on their risk to health and therapeutic usefulness. Psychoactive substances are found in a number of medication as well as in alcohol illegal and recreational drugs and some plants and even animals alcohol and caffeine are psychoactive drugs that people most commonly use to alter their mental state these drugs are legally available but can still be physical and psychologically harmful if taken to excess usually people decide when and how they went to use psychoactive drugs in some situations however psycho psychoactive drugs are used to alter someone's mental state in order to uh, uh, to exploit the person a common example of this is the date rate a uh, drug hypnol which is illegal in the u.s there are several ways in which psychoactive drugs are classified. Number one, by their common effects in the brain and body. For example, stimulants and depressants. And number two, by their likelihood to cause addiction from high to low. And number three, by their chemical structure. Groups of psychoactive drugs include stimulants, depressants, narcotics, e e epidemics, Epiodes, hallucinogens, and marijuana cannabis. Let's tackle each of this. Number one stimulants example of effects include heightened alertness, greater energy, improvement in mood that can reach euphoria and bodily responses such as increase, increase heart rate and blood pressure. Example of stimulants include caffeine, nicotine, amphetamines, and cocaine. Number two, depressants. Its example of effects include reduced feeling of extension, relief of anxiety, and muscle relaxation. With excessive use effects may include clammy skin, slow and shallow breathing, a rapid and weak pulse, coma, and death. Examples of depressants include alcohol and tranquilizers such as benzodiazepines. Number three, narcotics or opioids. These are derived from the poppy plants opiates or synthetically produced opioids. Examples of their effects include pain relief. Uh, drowsiness, euphoria, confusion, and respiratory depression. With excessive use, effects may include nausea and vomiting convulsions, respiratory arrest, coma, and death. Examples of opioids include some painkillers such as codeine, morphine, oxycodone, and the street drug heroin. Another one are hallucinogens. Example of effects includes paranoia, their depersonalization or the sense of not being real, 
hallucinations, erratic behavior, and an increased blood pressure and heart rate. Excessive use may include problems thinking and speaking, memory loss, and depression. Examples of this are from mushrooms, acid, LC, LSD, ketamine, penici, uh, penicyclidine, PCP, dextrometorpan, and peyote, mescaline. Number five, marijuana cannabis. Example of the psychoactive effects of marijuana include changes in sensory perception, euphoria, relaxation, appetite, changes, impaired memory, concentration and coordination, and changes in blood pressure. Marijuana is the only drug in its class. Not all psychoactive drugs are illegal. Caffeine is a stimulant found in coffee and energy drink, and opioids like uh, vicodine, oxycontin, or morphine are often prescribed by doctors to relieve pain. Uh, misusing uh, prescribed by psychoactive drugs is illegal though and can be as dangerous as using cocaine or heroin. Drinking too much caffeine is not good for uh, for you either. So legal or illegal psychoactive drugs demand caution. Now on the video that was posted, the man used a hallucinogen toad, the Colorado River toad, also known as Bufo alvarius, has a most uh, mostly smooth and shiny olive green complexion. Uh, though not what free its most notable characteristic may be the toxic milky white venom it sec secretes to poison predators with uh, this toad uh, produces a venom known as 5-MeO-DMT uh, an extremely potent uh, natural psychedelic 5 MEO-DMT is about uh, four to six times more powerful than its better known uh, cousin DMT, uh, dimethyltryptamine. The narcotic has long been in ingested by leaking the poisonous uh, poisonous amphibians back, but is now more commonly consumed as a smokable dust form. The liquid is extracted by milking the toad's toxic venom glands and then dehydrating it into a crumbly dry paste. Shamans throughout Mexico and the southwestern U.S. have been harvesting and smoking the substance for decades. And now, thousands of people throughout, throughout the country are seeking out the powerful uh, psychedelic. The drug's hallucinogenic uh, effects take hold in about 5 minutes after ingestion, causing a powerful religious uh, light trip that, that lasts about an hour. Individuals that have taken the toad venom describe their trips as being one with the universe and feeling reborn. And one user said they felt a total fusion with God, while under the influence user experienced bright colors, moving environment, or uh, recursive patterns. According to uh, researchers, the drug often leaves user immobile and unre uh, unresponsive and, co and can cause intense emotional recreation, uh, reaction, euphoria, convulsion, and vomiting. 5-MeO-DMT remains effectively illegal in the United States where it is classified as a Schedule 1 substance but while many user OPT to attend retreats in Mexico, where it is uh, legal ceremonies uh, are also taking place in the United States, where law enforcement agencies are largely tolerating its growing popularity.